The Biden administration announced on Thursday that the United States plans to accept up to 100,000 Ukrainians fleeing Russia's invasion, while also pledging $1 billion in new humanitarian aid. This news comes after a month of bombardments touched off Europe's fastest moving refugee crisis since the end of World War II and coincides with U.S. President Joe Biden's meeting with European leaders in Brussels to coordinate the Western response to the crisis. This is not something that Poland or Romania or Germany should carry on their own. This is an international responsibility. The United States is the leader, one of the leaders in the international community, has an obligation to be engaged, to be engaged and do all we can to ease the suffering and pain of innocent women and children and men, for that matter, throughout, the, th throughout Ukraine and those who have made it across the border. So far, more than 3.5 million people have fled Ukraine since Russia invaded on February 24th putting a strain on the neighboring European countries receiving them. As a result, U.S. lawmakers and advocates have urged Biden to do more to help those seeking refuge in the United States. The Biden administration said in a statement it would use the full range of legal pathways to bring Ukrainians to the United States, including the U.S. Refugee Resettlement Program. The current effort to allow more Ukrainians into the United States is part of a broader series of aid measures announced by the Biden administration on Thursday, including $1 billion in new funding toward humanitarian assistance to support people still in Ukraine and those affected by the global impacts of Russia's war, which Russia calls a special military operation. The Biden administration will launch a new democracy and human rights program that aims to provide at least $320 million in new funding to defend human rights in Ukraine and neighboring countries.